we got to look at the markets. In the sort of overall aggregate of this week, they smashed records on the Trump trade, but there are three quality stocks that actually missed out on the post-election rally that you could get them before they're hot, says Matthew Roddy. He's the Rockland Trust Portfolio Manager. Joining us now from Boston with what, more than two, nearly three billion in assets under management. Let me just quickly get, get before we get to the stocks, uh, to the markets here, we're pulling back a little bit. You worried at all? Uh, no, I'm not worried at all, really. I think that, uh, you know, there is a growth trade here that's on that we haven't had in a while. Inflation uh, is picking up. That's usually good for equity holders, as long as it's not a, a really fast ramp up, and I don't see a really fast ramp up in, infl in inflation. Earnings seem to be coming around. They were first time positive last quarter, mm -hmm. the first time in five quarters, at up 3%, and everyone was expecting them to be down again. And I actually think they could be in the high single digits next quarter based on a lot of the numbers, and a lot of the estimates call for double-digit earnings growth next year. Those are usually a little high, but if we get okay. some high single-digit earnings next year, I think the markets are reasonably valued here at about 16 17 times earnings. Now, folks, did you just hear what he did? He didn't even talk about politics or anything. He talked about earnings. He says they'll be strong. <laughs> okay, let's move to the three names that haven't come along on this Trump trade, so to speak. Uh, what are they, and why do you see them looking uh, as, as real opportunities here? Well, you, you were right on point there. I, you know, we don't look at politics when we look at these things a lot of times. We're looking for quality stocks. We're trying to find them at the right values. These three stocks, in my mind, Home Depot right now is really hitting on all cylinders. They had 6% revenue growth, 18% EPS growth, buying back shares, free cash flows growing really quickly. They're really eating uh, at their competitor uh, lows. Uh, they beat them in every, every, every comparable uh, area you could between comp stores, U.S. comp stores, square foot uh, sales. They're really doing a great job of executing. This is a management team that went through a really tough time okay. uh, recovering the business in 2008. So I think they can really, even if the housing does slow down a little bit, which is why the stock has not reacted well, is because rates have risen. So the cost of home ownership has gone up uh, due to the higher okay. mortgage rates that people are thinking about. So I think that you know, that's going to held the stock back. But this company will, will be able to manage right through that. Matt, as, as uh, we mentioned, your other names, Thermo Fisher Scientific and Google. We're up against the closing bell on quite oh. a week. Matt Roddy, $3 billion in assets. We'll put his names up on Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman. He's with Rockland Trust.